Hey people, Intrad here, and welcome to a look at Spellforce Conquest of Ao, which just released today as I as I record this. Hopefully as you guys watch it too. I was meant to get two or three days early access with this title, so I could prepare a bit. Unfortunately, that code was lost in the depths of my spam folder, and I only discovered it last late last night and got a couple of hours in. But I think I have the basics down. We'll, we'll be fine, I'm sure. We'll just wing the rest of it. This is a Fantasy 4X set in the Spellforce universe, which I don't know much about. I was a big fan of Spellforce 3. I thought the engine was fantastic as well, and owned by Gravity have taken it and made a 4X, which is quite fun. Fantastic idea, I think. So uh, we're going to jump in. Not sure if this is going to be a full playthrough or a few episodes or one episode, but we'll give it a good swing. It seems quite strong so far in the little that I played. If you like what you see, you can check out our link in the description where I have a URL to Games Planet, my retail partner, pick up the game there and help out the channel at the same time. So thanks to those that have a go at that. Let's look at the settings, eh? Decent graphics options. We have uh, FSR as well. For those that need a bit of a performance boost, always nice to see. Big lack of hotkey bindings though. None of that whatsoever. I really hope they add it. Kind of annoying omission in a big strategy game, I think. So, start a campaign. You choose an archetype. It's basically your class made up of a crafting school, which is like a, a big mechanic in itself, and two schools of magic. You can also create a custom one. I am going to choose Necromancer, because I love Necromancers in uh, fantasy games, and I did use this, use this archetype on my little test run, so I have a bit of an idea how things work. So obviously we get Necromancy as our crafting school, and our primary and secondary school are both death. Choose your starting location. I'm going to choose a Lovian, which is medium challenge, but it goes all the way up to tough and brutal up here in the Misty Coast. It's a cool idea. I'm not sure if it's I'm not sure if the map is procedurally generated or not. Or if it's based on like this. In my test game, I played Explorer. Let's, let's bump it up to balance. Maybe this changes how the map generates. And uh, we'll jump in. There's going to be some... A bunch of text at the start, which will... Yeah, we'll probably skip most... Like, breeze through most of this stuff. Basically, you get a message from your old Mage Master guy. Who's discovered a way to channel the Allfire. It looks like the circle of mages don't want this secret getting out, so they're going after him. Calls you to his tower, you go to the tower immediately. Also gives you a flute. Uh, so this is a... This looks different from the test game I played on the lower difficulty, so maybe it is difficulty based. I don't... Th I thought I rem remembered reading that the map is not procedurally generated, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe parts of it are. So here's our army. They actually call them stacks in the game. And it's a stack of four units by default. You can increase the size of your army though, I believe. Also, you get a slot dedicated to heroes and apprentices. I never found a hero when I played my little test game. But apprentices are basically little mage apprentice guys that can expand your domain and, and stuff like that and level up and do cool things. A lot of this game, similar to Age of Wonders 3, which is not a bad thing. It's a very good game to iterate on. As you can see here, this is very Age of Wonders-like. Visual of the unit and a list of traits. Got health, we got armor, melee attacks, ranged attacks on these guys. These guys are a fantastic creature, which means they can't level up. But as you can see in the tooltip there, they get nice buffs to start off with. Note that these guys are also followers. All, all three of these units are classed as a follower, so they don't, they don't need any upkeep. These guys are also expendable. So don't negatively affect willpower, we'll go into that later on. And we get these two slots here, these glyph slots, where you can upgrade units, like a mod type system. I like the leveling up too, it's kind of a randomised choice of traits, which I'm a fan of for replayability and such. We've got these goblin guys with big old heads. These are the goblins from Spellforce 3, of course. These guys are feral. More damage to shielded units. Goblins don't have much health or willpower though, which means they're going to have morale problems, perhaps. If we look at willpower here, as you can see, they can become disordered, broken, broken, or outright just start routing. 
if their willpower gets too low and willpower is affected by units dying and that kind of thing. You also get this general unit power stat, which is quite nice for comparing units. I like that a lot. So uh, let's run to the tower, shall we? This gold text here denotes that this is a main quest. We'll go over the other things in a second here. So there's corpses and debris. Big old battle here. Let's examine the flute that he gave us. So um, the flute starts doing weird stuff, showing us visions of what happened kind of thing. We can revisit, revisit the battle for a combat tutorial. Shall we do that again? Yeah, let's do it again. Combat is very Age of Wonders 3-like, with some twists. So here's all the demons running in. Very nice models. I would like to be able to zoom in a bit more. This is the limit of what I can zoom in. You can zoom out quite far, but uh, I'd like to have a look at these models a bit more. So, three action point system that you use to move and attack and do abilities. So very Age of Wonders like there. Where we differ a few ways. First of all, the willpower system, as we mentioned briefly. We also have items we can use. This can be anything from like grenades to potions to food to beer. Lots of stuff you can use, and it's all shared inventory across your empire. So you don't need to worry about units like carrying stuff around or anything. Also, there's a focus system. As you can see, if you look at our ice golem here, he's got three focus. If we look at our pyromancers, they have six focus. Focus is used to use abilities in battle. You can see these guys have flame armor and elemental weakness. So this limits how much of this stuff they can do per fight, which is a great way to balance things, I think, because you can have powerful abilities that cost a lot of focus, and maybe you can only do them once per fight. That kind of thing. It's a good system, I think. So this Ice Golem is a very good tank. We're going to throw the flame armor on him. So if you look down here, again, cool model. He's now got 100% elemental resistance. And these guys... Oh, they don't do elemental damage. Oh. But they have Enkindling Touch. This guy does elemental damage. This big old core dweller demon guy has got a fireball. Melee attack is still physical, but he can breathe fire at us. Although, how much focus does he have? He's only got three focus, so he can only do it once. So we're going to send the big old golem over here to tank these three guys put him in guard mode which gives 20 percent damage reduction and also means it can't be flanked you can see now the golem has these yellow arrows all the way around him these yellow arrows denote where attacks of opportunity will occur so if you're on guard mode they're all around you obviously flanking and stuff works exactly the same as age of wonders 2 we're going to send this guy up to this big scary demon looks big and scary but these are phantom warriors who have physical resistance and elemental resistance. So they're actually pretty good at fighting these guys. Uh, we are going to put him on guard. First. Because this guy's going to shoot his fireball immediately I think. You guys. We'll just run you in. You're going to be fine. This guy's already taken his turn. They're going to retaliate. Which does use an action point. Again much like Age of Wonders 3. And we'll end the turn. This guy does this very big, impressive fireball thing. And they're going to start wailing on my golem, which is not going to go great for them. So is my basic attack... My basic attack is elemental. Okay. These guys have elemental resistance. So what I should have done is use the elemental weakness thing. Oh, it's a radius. Okay. So we'll run up. Do the elemental weakness on these three fellas. And alright, you've used all your actions. You can finish off this guy. Well done. Note that they leave a little grave. Because I assume there's ways to uh, revive them. You can also turn them into undead guys with necromancy and that kind of thing. Start wailing on this fella. And uh, that's our turn. They're using up all of our golems' action points with just retaliations, which is fine by me. Got a ton of health. Gonna kill this guy. 
I guess we'll just shoot fire at this guy's resistant to it, but it's still doing good damage. You can't do anything else because you retaliated. Bit more of this. Crunch. Can you f kill him, do we think? Or are you going to die at this? Try and keep them alive. I don't know if it matters. Well, those guys can't get over there, so... Yeah, we're fine. They got wrecked. Lots and lots of similarities to Age of Wonders 3. Even down to like some of the traits and stuff, like first strike and armor piercing, that kind of thing. You're filled with hope and a touch of confusion since your master seemed to win that fight. But uh, we get visions of some robed figures. Probably the circle mages come in to have a word. We'll follow them. But then one of the figures raises a hand and casts some kind of spell so we can't see any more stuff with our magic flute. So the tower is damaged, deserted, looted. And we're going to live here. Apparently we just decide to live here now. Take stock. The chandelier has been stolen. Uh, so yeah, our first quest is to follow these tracks and see who stole stuff. It's a goblin camp, apparently, right over there. So top of your screen, we have gold income, mana and mana income mastery, much like casting points in Age of Wonders 3. But it does have another, it does have another effect as well. We got research and we got all fire, which is kind of like the master of magic thing where you split your all fire between three things between mana, mastery, and research. We can't do it yet, though. It, it drip feeds us some stuff here. So here's our tower, tower, which we can build rooms in. First one is going to be the necromancer's crypt, so we can do some necromancy. Gives us a crafting slot, which is basically a slot to build a minion in. That's going to be ready next turn. We also have our inventory here. We've got some remains and a soul. We'll see what they do in a second. Can you move anymore? You can start to move towards the camp. And there's our turn. Little city over here, very close to us. These treasure icons is how much gold it would give you if it was in your domain, which it's not. Our domain isn't big enough right now. Do you have a mana stash, which is good. This is an enemy spawner. Enemies will emerge from here. It's also a harvestable location. We'll talk about that soon. Lots of cool little mechanics in this game, I think. Let's end the turn. There's our crypt ready to go. Does it let us actually make something immediately? I think it does. Can we search, search through before the goblins ransack? So let's go to the library, see if we can figure out what's going on. We get the grimoire, which is how we cast spells and research and things. Needs further study. Get a bit of free research and we're going to recover everything, he says. So here's our grimoire. A fun mechanic where you... It's used for research, but also other stuff such as for example this we don't need to research it we just unlock it by crafting four undead and there's lots of that kind of thing like little gives you like uh, mini objectives in your adventure so the first actual spell we want is a generic spell this is just our apprentice spell page there's also the necromancy spell pages here but we as a necromancer we really need aid because our undead fellas can't regenerate health naturally. We need to heal them. And as far as I've seen so far, this is the only way to do it on the strategic map. Is casting aid on them. Maybe there's more a more powerful version of this later. Or some kind of death spell where you can do it. There are other ways. Such as this guy. Has. No, I'm lying. I thought he had consumed corpse. Nope, he's fantastic though. <laughs> Note that fantastic units can't gain experience, but they do get a little, a little boost there. Also, these first three units are classed as followers, so they don't cost any upkeep, which is nice. You also get like some follower units from quests and that kind of thing. Oh, I think it's the ghouls that can, yeah. It's the ghouls that can consume corpses to get some health back. So, the necromancy crafting thing. First, you put a soul in the soul slot. We only have this thing. But you can get more powerful souls that will have, like, special abilities and add them to the minion. Now, there's this threshold system, which is kind of tricky to explain. Basically, you have elemental, 
You have death slash life slash life and arcane, denoted by the colours, which are also on these ingredients over here. So you need to fill three to get a threshold. So that's one threshold, one threshold, one threshold, and and the same for the others. Every time you fill a threshold, you basically unlock a unit down here to get. So if I filled three death thresh threshold or one threshold of death, I should say, with three slots, I can get a skeleton warrior guy, I think. At the moment, we are concerned because this lesser vigorous soul adds a life ingredient. Life essence, which we don't want. You can't have life essences if you're trying to necromancer stuff. So we throw in these remains, which as you can see, add a death essence. Boom. And it cancels it out. It doesn't add any death. It just cancels out the life that we had there. And if you have zero, 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 you get to make a ghoul. So we're going to make a ghoul. It's actually decent. As I said, they can consume corpses, which is great. So 30 heal, which is quite nice. They can swim because they don't need to breathe underwater or anything. They do have some weaknesses. But a decent little unit. Also Undertaker, so you get more remains when they're in the fight. Seven armor. Not bad. Going to take us two turns to craft it. That's going to occupy our only crafting slot up there. And now we're going to have a look at this goblin camp. We can attack the looters. As you approach the camp, you find a few goblins in desperate struggle against a group of humans. By the time you arrive, many of the goblins have already been struck down and the humans have started looting the makeshift resting place. Attack. So they've got a, a cutthroat guy and... Oh, we can see. Arsonists. I hate these guys. So I can auto it. It's going to give me a heroic victory with no losses. But because we have a necromancy unit here, it's not going to regenerate health afterwards. So there is... Something to be said for doing this manually to try and get a cleaner win and not take damage on this guy. But they do have ranged attackers. We'll, we'll do the battle just because it's fun to see the battles, the first few at least. It does not let you retry the fights after the auto resolve, by the way. You can't just do it again if you get, if you take more damage than you would have liked, kind of thing. But at least it tells you when stuff's going to die, which I think is great. So, brawlers. I guess we're going to run them in. First, though, we have this guy that has ranged attacks. Need to get a bit closer. So we'll move up to here. We do have a ranged penalty. Ah, we soul caged them. That means we guarantee a soul once they die. Which is great. It'll probably only be a minor soul, but it's something. So these cutthroats have first strike, which makes them very annoying to fight in melee because they hit you first. You can also throw knives, which ignore all armor. Pretty damn good unit, these guys, actually. They are tier twos. So what I'm going to do is stay behind these objects. That probably means these guys are going to throw fire at my undead guy, actually, which could be bad. Oh, they're getting into melee range. Okay, they're starting to stab my brawlers. So are those guys, but we do have a flank here. Oh, it's not a flank. Are you guys unable to be flanked? It looks like a flanking position to me. Oh, these guys also make you bleed. No, I'm just not in a good flanking spot, but I don't want to move because I want to have three attacks here. This is a flank. Oh, but they still have first strike. No, they don't. Okay. Ah, that bumped up the willpower of these guys to confident. And goblins, yeah, they have bad willpower. They're very prone to running away. So it's good to get a strong start to a fight to buff their willpower up. As you can see, they've gone over 100%, so they become confident. What does confident mean exactly? Oh, plus two damage. That's pretty good. As you can see, you can get disordered, you can break, you can rout. Lots of cool stuff. Is that a... Oh, it's maybe a kill. If you roll high, that's a kill. We did not 
roll high enough. I think they're going to make it though, because they'll get one attack and uh, that's not enough to kill us, I don't think. There we go. Good stuff. And we took no damage on our undead unit. Great. And we'll get some a soul and some remains and stuff for that. We got some bandages, which is one of those items you can use in battle to stop bleeding. Got a lesser vigorous soul again. And this undiscovered faction we get plus two with. These undiscovered factions, I think, are the circle mages. I only met one of them in my test game, but I think that's what that refers to. Generally, you want to stay on their good side if you can, because they'll send waves at your tower otherwise and that kind of thing. But now quite camp is littered with goblin corpses. They were carrying on using some of your master's tools, as well as a small amount of coins. We got a bit of gold and we got these glyphs. So you can use glyphs in, in crafting, but you can also use them. You can also attach them to your units, kind of like unit mods from Age of Wonders Planetfall and give them traits. So they are very nice to have. Where are the rest of them? So you turn to leave a few goblins emerge from hiding. You, I remember you. These are basically goblins that you that used to work for your master kind of thing. And he's going to show you stuff. Over there. He wants us to go over there. Oh, and over there. And we can level up our little brawlers. So you press this button and you get a choice of two traits. Which seem to be completely randomized out of a pool, which I quite like. There's going to be some people that don't like this. Because they don't like the RNG aspects of it. But I'm fine with it. These are pretty decent choices. Plus six damage on flanking attacks or plus six damage versus armored units. Gonna go for the piercing, I think, on you. Over here, we have double regen or plus five hit points. I'm gonna go for the plus five hit points here. Regeneration is really nice to have, though. Really nice to have. And I'll send you guys towards this. I can't quite make it there this turn. Ah, we can hire stuff. We can hire some goblins. We only have one hiring slot. Note that there doesn't... I don't know if it's just because it's goblins, but it doesn't seem to be an upfront cost with this, but there is an upkeep cost. So I'm going to go straight for a goblin shaman. Wait, how do I... There we go, inspect. These guys are pretty cool. They have a ranged attack, an electro ball. They have healing spores, which also make you berserk. An area of effect 15 heal. Now, I was very excited when I saw this because I thought these guys would be able to heal my undead units. But nope, as you said, as you see there, it says on affects only mortal units. But they are great in a goblin stack because they're also a goblin leader for plus two willpower, plus two damage as well. So we'll definitely get one of these guys. It's going to take five turns, but I think worth worth trying to get one early. So as you can see from this goblin camp, this is what's given us this hiring slot. And units here regenerate plus 50% health. I should have left my guys in there maybe to regenerate some health. Necromancy page updated. Yes, it is. And uh, we built our crypt. Yes, we did. So we can cast a spell here. Oh, all I have is corrode. Which will... Minus one armor stack. It doesn't say how long it lasts for this thing. And for the next battle, maybe. As far as I've seen, there's no way to cast spells in battle with your mage guy. It's all strategic level stuff, which is an interesting way to go about it. So we're going to go to this treasure stash. You find some treasure, some gold. And over here now. Oh, there's another stash of things over here. Explore this site for ingredients. I will. Ooh. The Enclave. Big city up there. That might be one of the minor city-state factions that you can interact with and get reputation for. Something to harvest up here. Also restores movement. Cool, cool, cool. Researching aid next turn. Whenever you see those swirling books, that means an event is about to happen. Sometimes you get events just literally like traveling around, an event will pop. What are your next steps? The destruction of your master's tower must mean you uncovered something all fire secrets. You can restore the contents of the grimoire. But a tower needs rebuilding too. Circles behind this appearance must expect them to come for you as well. I won't let them stop me. 
I suppose I just should check with them too. There's a little hamlet over here. Ah, we're getting additional unit hiring. And that's where our main adventure is. First, though, I want to grab these ingredients. What did we find? Some ectoplasm, remains, flintstone, and a twitching eyeball. Alrighty. Twitching eyeball is not super useful for us because it's full life essence. Although we only get three gold for it as well. Let me check these glyphs again. Serrated blades. All attacks can inflict bleeding. Even my ranged attacks? That's pretty fun. Bunch of speed off that. And this grants Undertaker. These are all really good. They're also all really good for crafting. So I'm going to keep it. Keep them to craft with. Okay. We're going to throw in this lesser vigorous soul. And we're going to try and get enough to get a skeleton warrior or something. So I'm going to throw remains in to get rid of that life, life essence and then it's a little bit overkill but that'll give oh it gives us archers i see maybe we need to fill up the elemental slots to get oh yeah i don't know more slots fine i'll have some archers sure give me some archers Sorry about that, I had to put a small cut in as I went to do something. But uh, what was going on? Oh, we made a ghoul. Here's our ghoul. We'll call them all Frank. Note that these minions you create have mana upkeep. So perhaps, I'm sure mana is important to all the archetypes, but it's perhaps more important for necros as you upkeep all of your minions. We're going to... Join up with that guy and go to the hamlet next. We can select some more research because we have aid. So we can research summoning these wisps, which you yeah, you need these guys to meld with all fire to get more all fire. So they're kind of required. Death March is amazing. Gives back all of your movement and it only takes 10% of your health, I think, which seems awesome. Cannibalize. I don't know how this works as a spell. Does it let your units cannibalize for, for one battle or something, maybe? We're going to get the Wisp. They are... They can use them in combat as well. They're not too bad. So. Who's awaiting orders? Oh, this guy. You just hang out here for a turn. So we got our aid. And there's the cannibalize. I wish it gave me... It like told me what the spell was exactly. It doesn't tell you until you research it. But that's all right. So this flag. Oh, this is just the independent flag with the sword. Okay. Note that this text you see. This isn't the name of the place. This text that you see around. We'll probably see loads of them. That's the name of the adventure that waits for you there. So let's have a look at this hamlet. There's probably some fighting for us today. You're very much incentivized as a necromancer to fight everything because you need some souls. The village's inhabitants eye you with an air of hostility when you arrive. Children are called inside. Burly black-haired man brandishing a cudgel steps forward. There's nothing for you here. Scare them into submission. I'm a bloody necromancer guy with my own tower. We won't return the ingredients. The apprentice left them as payment for helping him flee. Some other apprentice that was at the tower they're talking about. We got them fair and square. Well, pay the price in blood or give them to me. Slay them all and take everything. You get this like a general idea of how strong the fight is going to be. You can see your own strength down here. Well, uh, we want everything, please. I can do this auto resolve. It's the same enemies. We just auto resolve so we can move forward here. Hey, we took no damage on our undead fella. That's good. With their armed defenders dead, the remaining villagers cower in fear. Good stuff. We got a dark feast. That's a nice item for us. This So this is a usable item, but also something we can use for crafting. With two death and one elemental essence. Pretty good. A lesser arcane soul. Oh, hey. This is really good. If we use this on a minion, that minion will grant us plus two mana per day. So that's someone think we do not want to get killed. 
this will give uh, lesser. This will give pack tactics, which is an upgrade you can get on goblins, but it's obviously randomized, so that would make sure they have it. More damage for everyone that has pack tactics. More remains, some gold, and an undiscovered faction didn't like us doing that. Serves them right, I say. As you leave, you think about the apprentice and the villagers keep speaking of. Perhaps you can find them. Maybe I have to shed some light on your master's fate. I'll see if I can find out more. So now we have this hamlet in our domain. It's blue domain here, which has given us an extra hiring slot. And it's given us a little bit of gold per turn. And yes, you can make your tower float in the air and, and take root somewhere else. But it's a very expensive spell that I never got to cast properly in my little test run. Ah, oh, these, these guys took damage though. These guys are undead. You do get to level them up though. Mountaineer. This is not that useful if everyone in the stack doesn't have the Mountaineer. So just give them plus one speed. That's a decent upgrade for a melee unit, I think. And we are going to cast aid on them. So that we can heal up that guy a bit. It takes nine mana. But we can only cast, we can only spend eight mana per turn because our mastery. So we can't cast it immediately. We need to wait until next turn. But that's all right. So let's go here again. Why does it want to go here again? Oh, just because we got ingredients. I think we don't have another slot because we got these archers coming in. Uh, let's go and get this mana stack, I suppose. End that turn. Archer comes in. Your master's missive spoke of an all fire source he discovered not far from here. Now that you've established yourself, go look for it, basically. No mortal can touch the all fire. We need to use a wisp, basically, is what it's going to tell us. Let's summon a wisp and try. Well, we need to research the wisp first. There it is. So we need to take out the defenders. There's four hornets. Was, was this a model from Spellforce 3? Or did they make this for this game? What do they have? They're flying. Does that mean you can't melee them? It seems you can melee them still. They're just melee, melee bugs, basically. Oh, beasts have plus one speed, apparently. And forester. Okay. Do we take the archer? Do we drop this guy since he can't level up more? He's pretty damn good, though. With his soul catcher thing. I think we drop one of our melee goblins here. Yeah. Oh, we have the Shaman. We also have the Shaman. Well, that changes things. I think what I'm going to do is drop the Ghoul. Take the Shaman. And this is going to be our main stack for now. Because I want that Soul Catcher thing there. You guys go, you guys go towards this. You'll, these guys will naturally regenerate. We could sit them in the hamlet, which, as you can see, gives them more regeneration. But that's all right. We'll get them moving. You guys can come and grab the mana. Plus 10. Like it. We're losing gold per turn right now. Because the shaman... Yeah, he takes two per turn, this fella. Who's awaiting orders? Oh, these guys. We can do a bit of scouting, I suppose. Wary of going up there because something could pop out. There's this, a copper vein. We have no one who can mine. So all these harvestable and mineable locations, you need worker units, basically. And I was racking my brains for ages. Like, how the hell do I get a worker unit? Are they goblins? What's going on? But you get them from these city-states, at least of, as far as I'm aware. That's where you get them from. We can end the turn here. We're on day seven of week one. How is the healing going here? Pretty good, actually. Now I could... Could throw it on you guys for them ghouls, but I think I just want to... Necromancer some more stuff. Let's get the... Yes, the plus two mana soul in. And... Need to get rid of the life, of course, always. There's archers, so if I can get to three elemental, 
An unknown undead. My the soul is too weak for this recipe. Okay, I can't I can't get this guy. Whatever the hell it is. How did I? How was I getting? The skeleton warriors. There we go. Just need three. Three elemental. If you get three elemental and three death, I think it's mounted skeleton guys. But I guess you need a bigger soul for that, which is the one we just saw, right? If I do that. Yeah, that's 3-3. Three, three. I'm pretty sure that's the mounted skeleton, fellas. So we're going to get some... Oops. Skeleton warriors with the plus two mana. Hopefully they don't die. Need to give them some good mods and stuff. Craft. Still only have one slot, unfortunately. But we'll... Live with it for now. So if I was an alchemist, I could do a thing here to disperse them peacefully. But we need to kill him. And hopefully not lose anything. So this guy... So this auto-resolve will lose our goblin guys there. So we'll try to do it better manually. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I should have waited another turn so they were fully healed up. That's... That's a thing. But I do have the heal on my shaman. And I don't know how effectively the AI uses your, your stuff. Because I, I did see a battle in my test run that was like, you're definitely going to lose this. And I won it. Just by, like, using flanks and stuff. So. Any chance I can hit with a ranged attack from here? Nope. How far can I move? I, I'm guessing pretty far. Yeah, pretty far. I've got to put those guys a bit too close. So let's put you guys here to run interference. You can come here. And not quite hit them. That's kind of annoying. You up to here. Everyone goes into guard mode. And we await their arrival. They tend to move first and then do all of their attacks. Okay. Aha, high ground bonus on this guy. We can we can take him out. That's very good. Do I use my heal now? It does also make them berserk. Yeah, I think we use it now. It's a really nice ability to get quite early. I I don't know how the other archetypes start. I, I'm guessing they don't all start with goblins. Might kill this guy if you roll high. Yes! Beautifully done. Berserk mushrooms, baby. Beautiful skill. This guy's now disordered. So what does disordered do exactly? Minus two damage. Good. Oh, they're going for a flank, though. Sneaky bastards. I can cast that again, right? Yeah, I can cast it again. So they need to regenerate so much. I'm going to try and get Soul Cage. Did I get it? At the end there? Mining ore veins will grant you precious metals and potentially gems. Got some levels. We got some fur. Did not get any remains or any uh, souls, unfortunately. After dispersing a giant insects, you eagerly approach the place where a glow seems to break through the grounds, pulsating with promise. Get closer. I have that spell in my grimoire. Yes, yeah, so we're going to summon a wisp. First, though, level stuff up in it. Plus five health or plus one armor for this guy. So armor, yeah, it, it's like damage reduction, basically. Each armor point just re reduces the damage you take. So it's pretty strong to have, I think. We'll give him some armor. These guys, you can give them more willpower or additional gold off the battle. Willpower's good. We don't want them breaking. Yeah, I'm going to take willpower. These guys can more flanking damage or more regeneration daily. Flanking backstabbing. Good stuff. Meld with the all fire is what we need to do next. What is this place? It looks big. It's a big copper vein, it looks like. Should we go and check out what the conclave has to say? Another adventure down here called the Last Resort. Looks like a big city as well, maybe. 
Let's try and get up here. Yes, it's a city-state. Oh, the granite dwarves. I didn't see these guys last time. Can't quite make it in there to start doing adventures for them and get our... Need to get your standing up with the faction. Isn't there a button for this, actually? Factions, here we go. They're all going there. Here's our list of stacks, as they put it. Active spells here, that's where our wisp will go. Faction promotions, not sure what that's about. List of heroes, we don't have any. Still don't need to use this aid. I'm going to send these guys down here. Don't want them to get jumped by something. We'll see what this last resort is. We could try the fight. It is some time since you heard any dispute over Alovian's Lenya fields. Recently, though, humans have become harvesting again. And there have been whispers of the elves wanting to make more aggressive action. The elves are all about Lenya, I guess. Retreat. We'll come back with more stuff. We will return with help. Oh, it just goes over there. I guess that's uh, that's a reason not to go after adventures with a weak stack because you there might be a fight you can't take and then and then you kind of miss the opportunity. So I guess we'll go after there now. Leave my skeleton warrior and another fella. Let's end the turn. So I lost the. Oh, they're gonna fight me. Why are they just enemies? Okay, this didn't happen in the previous. I didn't realize they were just hostile. We are stronger to them, stronger than them, but it is saying that we're going to lose two of our units here. We'll start the battle. If I knew they were going to be hostile, I would have cast Corrode on them or something, maybe. How long are we going here? We're 40 minutes in. Okay cool looking map and these are all melee fellas but they are going to be shielded aren't they yes plus two armor on non we need to get flanks on these guys but it's going to be tough when there's three of them i think i can take some high ground that gives me damage bonuses i believe for my ranged attacks let's do that can you get up here this turn not quite and you guys this is this is the way they're going to come up probably they might go over there It looks like they're all coming this way. That's pretty good for us. Do we have any items? We have bandages. Not very useful for us. You go here. Any chance I can shoot? No. <laughs> to get a little bit closer. That's fine. Um, put you guys like this, I think. We are going to be on guard, unfortunately. Yeah, we do have a high ground bonus, though. Make sure they can both attack the same unit as they can. Stop wailing on this fella. Good start, I say. Can they get to me this turn? They can. You can get to my little goblin fellas over here. How do I reface you? I don't know how I change your facing. I don't want to click and drag. It looks like it's going to move you. Yeah, it just moves you. Well, I guess if I put you in guard, it doesn't matter too much. I would like you to be facing the correct way. There we go. Must be a way to reface. I don't see it. So, what I can do here... Kill this guy. That's quite a lot of damage, eh? You're now confident. Kill this fella, and we're gonna need to heal, I think. Not sure if, it'll leave, if it's even enough to save him. Got some berserk shrooms going. We can do it again next turn. Did it? Oh, did it make him turn around? 
Oh no, okay, it's not it's not a flank. What's he up to? I oh, trying to get a flank. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> have a high ground, but you also have a ranged penalty. I don't want to move though. Aha! Soul caged. I like that. I can go around here and get a flank. Is, is this the guy with the flanking? No, this is the guy with the piercing attacks. Are these guys armored? They look armored. I don't think they are. I don't think they're technically armored. Okay. We're going to get around here. Big flank, but we're going to use the... Uh, we're going to get the kill here, definitely. So we'll heal up these guys. Crunch. And you... Look at that damage. Boom. No losses, baby. Barely took any damage at the end because of these awesome healing shrooms we have. The shamans are so good. Who needs undead? We've got goblins running around. So we got a lesser greedy soul. Plus one gold after each battle if we use that. That's pretty good. And it comes with some elemental essence there. Heroic victory. Oh, so every week there's like a an event that happens. So this is plus one movement on the world map. Pretty good. Week of the Guardians. Traveling is blessed by the Guardians as many seek to visit nearby temples. Maybe those dwarfs weren't the conclave. Maybe they were just dwarfs that were hanging out. Didn't actually pay attention to their flag there. Not far from your tower, you spot a hooded figure watching from a crop of trees. Is the circle already aware of your presence? I need more guards. You know the local militia holds a watchtower not too far away. Perhaps you can acquire help there. Okay. Oh, that's in our domain as well. We'll get plus two treasure and plus two, or plus two gold and plus two uh, research. Look at this place. A, sh a shape of secret. Massive income here, but you need to move your tower next to it because of this icon to start this adventure. Um, each year the dwarves of Silverdrift Hollow, Draycott, Coldmark and Windholm meet with the conclave near Stoneblade Peak. There they assess who may, who may work which adamantium miners. This year you've invited to attend the discussions where the ambassadors for Silverdrift Hollow arrive late. Those darn granite dwarves attacked us on our way. Ah, is that the granite dwarves there? Where did you encounter them? Miles away. Where the heck were they? There is an overland map, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's really far. I'm not going over there for a while, buddy. Okay, I need to bring these guys back down towards this tower. I'm just going to use the aid here to heal up this ghoul because I need to cast the wisp spell now. Here we go. It's going to take a little while to channel it. But it will, act, it will allow us to access the all fire menu once we get that thing. And uh, oh, I can select new research. We can get deadly weapons. I'm not sure how long it doesn't. I'm not sure how long this lasts once you cast it. Oh, maybe it just maybe it's an upkeep kind of thing, you know? That's probably it. That seems pretty good. Death March is also awesome. Although, kind of rough on necromancy units when they can't regenerate their health. But great for our goblin stack. Cannibalize. Let's get Death March. It's nice and cheap. Only 20 research to invest. We're doing 5 per turn. And we'll get 2 more off this thing. Can I make another? Nope, my warriors are still coming. Who's awaiting orders? Are oh, you guys? Just uh, get back to safety. Ish. So these guys now have this aid. It's only 25. So it won't heal them up fully. Might need to cast it again. End that turn. I'm not sure if the other circle mages play... Like if they're playing the same game as you, if they're playing by the same rules. I don't think they are. Because why would they, they know the secrets of the all fire. Why would they be looking for it? Oh, an event is happening while we're traveling here. A woman, long blonde hair and fair face concealed behind a sheer veil comes running your way. Got a wedding dress on. Here for you, goodbye. She pushes a, pushes a package into your hands and dashes off with almost inhuman speed. I can look in the package, I can hide the package because there's some 
some shouts coming towards me here. I can run after her. Let's hide it quickly. My wedding gifts, a very burly, heavy man appears. So she's okay. Clean not trying to reconcile with his lost love. Not seen her. Uh, sure, we'll send him off. We want this package, I think. You'll catch her if you're quick. Oh, it's 10 gold. Okay. I wonder what else could have happened there. Our skeleton warriors are ready to join this undead stack. Maybe we should, yeah. We should put this guy in our undead stack and hire. Hang on. Did I get a cool soul? I got a plus one gold soul. That's pretty good. And I do have mana to spare. Get another skeleton warrior, I think. No, we can't. We don't have enough remains to get a threshold here. I don't want more ghouls. So, wrong one. Let's hire some goblin archers. And add them to this stack. But for now, can I run you in here? Or not. I can't make it. Note that unlike Age of Wonders 3, you can't attack an enemy stack with multiple stacks and like surround them that kind of thing. It's not it's not a thing that happens. The battles are stack versus stack. You just you guys are just gonna go to sleep. It's one stack versus another. As far as I'm aware, it's the only way you can fight. Late at night, a frantic rattling at the door wakes you up. From a window you see a hooded figure nervously eyeing the path leading up to your tower. Quick, open up! I know what this is. I'm going to open the door. This is the old apprentice that was at the tower. Our master spoke very highly of you. That's what he's saying to me. Indeed. I am Jonath. Jonath? Let's say Jonath. I studied the art of necromancy with our late master. He's a proof of my work with him. He's got proof and here he is. And he becomes our first apprentice, which is awesome. Tell me what happened. Basically... Uh, your master was getting close to some big all fire spell thing and the circle majors came and stopped him so let's skip to the end if you please a day's journey from here not far from a tower yet so he's telling us where stuff is managed to gather some of our master's former servants here's some goblins that are going to join me please help me protect our master's legacy yeah, yeah, yeah. so he put our he put the master's research somewhere we need to go find it I agree for our master's sake Research is invaluable. Invaluable, I must have it. Oh, big, big old thing here. Okay. I do get another stack of goblins, though. That's pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is take... What's his name? Jonath. Here he is. He's a follower, so it doesn't cost us upkeep. He is, he is actually undead, so he can't regenerate. A gifted pupil, plus three focus... A necromancer, of course. So he can raise undead in battle, which is amazing. He can't be mind controlled, which is good. Yeah, he's a he's a cool fella. Oh, and apprentices and stuff can get artifacts. I never actually found an artifact to give them, and they can get glyphs, of course. So we're gonna have you lead our undead stack over here. And bring you down toward. We'll do the watchtower with this stack to give them XP. So we'll have to wait a bit longer. And you can join them. So there's our undead stack. I would like to. Uh, maybe we'll keep the ghoul. Because he does. He does have consumed corpse and he does have undertaker. More remains coming in is always nice. Aha, we have the all fire flow, so we can drag this around, which makes creepy whispering noises, to change our income of mana, research, and proficiency. So proficiency levels up how much mastery you have. And once you get to breakpoints in mastery, if we see here, you get bonuses. So if we get to 10, 
We get plus one domain radius, plus one apprentice slot, and plus three tower rooms. And after that, if you get to 25, you get plus one slot in your stacks, which is amazing. I never got that far, though. That seems like a big bonus. But we're going to put this... Kind of in the middle. We'll put it there. We'll, we'll give up a little bit of research to get some more mana and proficiency coming in, I think. Uh, we also need to summon our Wisp. So they can go to the All Fire, give us more of that good stuff. Before you use the glory of the All Fire, its raw, unbridled energy sings to you, resonating with every fiber of your being. You desire nothing more than to touch it. So. Last time I did this, and it gave us some research, so I'm going to see what this option does. Oh, I got some mana, okay. Tears stream down your face, you find yourself laughing with joy, can hold it more of a fraction of a second. Let the wisp do the- oh, we still get some research. Okay. To hell with the circle, or conquer the all fire. Yes. So we press this button here, these are like map action buttons. This is where you'll do mining and harvesting from as well if you had some workers so we'll let that guy do that apparently it takes a couple of turns you are heading towards this watchtower we're gonna make a stack of ah we don't need yeah we'll still get those archers so we can have two stacks of goblins running around it's gonna be expensive though eh hmm we are going to get... Yeah, we're going to get extra treasure from this place once we conquer it. So that's all right. Oh, and this guy can make lodges. So we could put a lodge just on this and get a bunch of gold income once we conquer it. Who's this fella? Who the hell are you guys? New Purity of Light. Oh, they did say there was religious fanatics around, didn't they? Is that you guys? Hmm. Maybe we should murder you for some souls. Oh, we also need to deal with this. Now, when I did it on my test game on Explorer difficulty, it was only this fella, I think. This horned beast. This guy's fatigued, so he can't run very far. At least. But there's a big problem. We've also got these guys. Also, pretty big problem, since Undead is weak to elemental fire stuff. Not great. Not fantastic. Maybe it's better to send the goblins after them, being led by this guy. Since they're all nicely leveled up and stuff a bit, and the shamans are amazing. Who's awaiting orders? Oh, you guys. You just sleep. Sleep at the tower. Do I want this other archer? I think I might cancel him. Hmm. That's more gold. That's more upkeep. We're losing gold as it is. We'll keep him. We'll keep him. It'll even out with this thing. And I end my turn. Is this where I want my lodge then? Oh, we will get domain from this thing as well, which will give us some mana income, apparently. Tiara's touch. Each turn a mark will appear on the random position on the battlefield. The unit ends their turn on this position. I don't know what that thing is about. Oh, they're just coming towards us over here. Okay. Hmm. Do we use undead or... I think we use goblins for this fight. So we'll send our apprentice in with them. And I don't know... I don't actually know if they're just going to make a beeline for the tower here. Or if they just go for the closest stack. So let's get up in their face. Select some research. We have Death March now, which is good. We can now raise dead. So this... I didn't actually use it, but I did research it. You target an urban tile and you get a random undead unit. Which is very fun, but it does piss off whoever you... Whatever urban tile you used it on kind of thing. Which is uh, understandable, I think. Yeah, let's get deadly weapons. I think it's plus one death damage. Once you cast it. And afterwards I want to get this thing. Oh, I'll we'll get all the things, I guess, in order of how difficult they are to research. Do we think you guys can deal with this? I'm sure you'll be fine. 
Oh, offer them gold to, to join my ranks. Or I can impress them with magic. Offer them some gold. And offer them more gold? Sure. Yes. What do we get? We've got a crossbowman. Last time I did this, did this I got a, a uh, cutthroat. Did cost us 15 gold, but that's pretty decent. What has happened? Founded by both humans and elves, Alluvian is renowned for its elegant elvish architecture. I might want to go to for a visit. So this is a place that we can increase reputation as well. So this is just a random, this is just a generic place. There's no flag on it kind of thing. I see. They just gave us a, a quest miles away. So yeah, this is definitely a different map than what I was on, or at least a different part of the map. I'm pretty sure I, I started in Oluvian last time. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't, actually. Maybe I'm just mistaken. So here's the crossbowman. So tier two. Got a, wow, a really damaging crossbow shot for one action. Decent in melee. He's got aim assistance. Stabilized shots when in aim, when in radius of cover. For more damage, he's got piercing attacks. This guy's freaking amazing. You can join our stack of uh, goblins. Can you make it up here? Oh, it would have been great to get him in this fight. Alas, no. Just leave you there for now. Who's awaiting orders? Oh, you guys. So now we have this in our domain. We're getting plus two gold and plus two research. We're still losing gold because we got this guy. Who's costing us two per turn. So, yeah, we need to, we need to think about that lodge. Where are we going to put that lodge? What does it say? Why does it have the all fire symbol here? Can we get all fire if we harvest it? I never saw these primordial forests before. I don't see another great place to put our lodge, really. So I might just I might just throw it there to get the mine. Although when we get our mastery up, we're gonna get the plus one domain, so we're gonna get it anyway. I have no idea where to put the lodge. We'll think about that later. Who wants an order now for me? Oh these guys still. Uh, maybe you guys can go and clear this mine for us then. And the turn, you're just going to run at me? Oh, he's going straight for the tower, I think. Okay. You're still... Oh, I'll get the domain. Do I get extra all fire? Yeah, I've got 13 now. Awesome. So now I'm getting plus three mana from this. Superb. Uh, let me check that now. That's fine. 553. Five, I'll, t I'll keep the 553. Five, five, and we can get Crossbowman in this fight. Definitely worth taking him over this archer. I mean, the archer would... This goblin archer would be buffed by the shaman. But it still doesn't make up how much better the Crossbowman is. And, since he's a mortal, we can... A mortal is what I mean to say. We can heal him with those crazy mushrooms. Decisive victory. They say we're going to lose one of our brawlers. So let's have a let's have a go, shall we? Oh, they're in kind of a walled structure here. Or well, there is a path to the side. Where's the other guy? Back there. So, are these guys weak to anything? No. Super not. Super, super not. We're going to play defensively. Because, uh, wait, do you have a ranged attack? No, you do have a raw. Minus three willpower, that's pretty bad for goblins. What about you? Can you, like, throw fire? Oh boy, you have a... You have a thing, and it doesn't cost you focus. It's just your attack. Damn it. That's really bad. Okay. Just, just stand behind the wooden shack. That's going to help you against fire. Not yes. sure where they're going to come from. Can't do much with our apprentice now. I mean, he's got, he's got basic attacks and he can raise dead, which is amazing. But as he levels up, I'm sure he'll get cooler things. 
Oh yeah, we've got crossbowmen though. If we go... Does this count as a cover object? It, I think so. When in one radius of a cover object, you get stabilized. Did you become stabilized? Maybe this is like a... A shot blocker, not cover. I don't know though. It says plus two. And this is meant to give plus three though. So I don't know. Maybe he needs to maybe he needs to stay there for a turn or something. Maybe. If next to a cover. Okay. Well, that's our first turn. As glorious as it was, is he gonna run out? No. They are not running out. This guy's not moving whatsoever. Yes. Okay. Maybe this is cover here. What about this? Does that do it for you? Oh. It appeared down there. Was it there before? Maybe it was always there. Crunch. We staggered him. Oh, we need to reload with this fella. I did not catch that. Fair enough. I mean, he does do a huge amount of damage. What does Staggered do? Half speed. Does not affect unstoppable units. That's awesome. Um, your attack is not like area of effect, is it, or something? No. Fantastic one damage over there. He's not resistant to death, though, I don't think. How far can you move? Oh, not very, because yes. he messed your movement up. I guess we'll start tentatively sending these guys a bit further forward. You can get there, because we don't want to move there. Oh, wait, can he still get to me? No, no. Everyone else... Defend in guard mode. He's still not. He's still not coming out. I don't know what the deal with with him is. That wasn't too bad. That was not yes. too bad. Yeah, he's, I've always got this sight penalty. Unfortunately, I need to reload. Which is a is a yes. two click action apparently. You can let me. Think at you with attacks, I'm gonna do it. Where do I need to be to not have a ranged a range penalty though? You're still slowed down. I still have a range penalty, so that was great. Oh here he comes. They are splitting their damage though. There's the roar. Oh no, we're disordered. Yes. There's disorder in the ranks. Mm -hmm. Look at this for damage, though. Beautiful. I can even maybe go here and get a flank since it's all one action. It's. Yes, look at that. Which opens up a flank for this guy. He is going to turn and rush him afterwards, though. It might be worth using action points and just using one attack but um we'll go for it that's all right we going? and then oh you can't finish him what i want to do is finish him with this guy so i can heal with this guy and then raise dead with this guy but i don't think it's going to work out can you kill him you can probably kill him yes. Ah, we got confidence back. We're going to do that. And we're going to heal with you right here. And it'd have to be next turn that we raise the dead. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Big ouch. We're going to do it again. Yes. You're going to raise dead here. They can't act the turn that you raised them, unfortunately. 
you are just going to get behind here. Oh, you can't. I blocked you in with this raised dead. At least, at least you'll get some kind of cover here. Hopefully they shoot the raised, the, the walking corpses, the expendable fellas over there. Hmm? You need to stand here and reload. I think we've got this now. Yeah, the damage is being lowered by stuff. Uh, uh, oh, I need to attack the gate to get through it. Of course, it's not my gate. I mean, it's in my it's in my bloody territory. Why are they standing in this little village? Fine. Yeah, completely line of sight blocked. How was he able to shoot me then? Maybe it's a different type of shot. Um, need to shoot some lightning. Yes. You need to shoot some death. Hmm. You need to step out and shoot. I'm loving these crossbow guys. These guys are awesome. And I don't think the other guys are going to move. You, in fact, move away. No point in you standing there taking more shots. You guys can maybe try to go around. It's not worth it. I don't want to open you up to attack. We'll put you here, though, so you're still behind cover. Really wish I could remap these controls. Don't want to press enter to do an action. Walking corpses can finish him off. Don't think there's a reason not to. I can't heal anything. Uh, let's shoot. I don't know how the XP works exactly. So we'll try to get XP on, on our apprentice maybe. It might just be XP standard amount split between everyone kind of thing. Heroic victory. We gain nothing. Good. There is a big old tower here now. And this is where our main quest is, the stolen pages. Used by the circle mages to expand their domain. Okay. Oh, this is one of the circle fellas. You have an adventure here. Enemies emerge from here. We need to heal up first, but that was awesome. Loving me little goblin army. Can get willpower or movement on my shaman. Hoping for better picks on this guy. Some kind of focus upgrade or ranged damage or something. Once they get to... Yeah, if they get to le level 5, 10, and 15, you get more powerful choices. So that you can at least get up to level 15, which is pretty awesome. Speed will let him manoeuvre, but he's okay. I think I'll take the willpower. You guys. Ah, oh, my buddy. You can get pack tactics, but uh, we don't have anyone else with pack tactics. So I'll grab the regen, I suppose. And you guys are going to have a look at this watchtower. No, you're not. You're trying to go for the mine, you dumbass. We did the watchtower. Who now needs orders? Oh, you fellas. I think, is this the place that gives me regen? Yeah. Does this give me regen? Yeah, a little bit. So does that. Bane of the unnatural. What is this? Battle enchantment. Okay. Stand you in here, which should help you heal up a bit more, apparently. Skip your turn. Where am I going to put your lodge? There's no good cluster of things, really. I'm looking for these little stats. There is a way to show... Yeah, it can show harvestable locations a bit more clearly, which is pretty nice. I'll just leave that on, actually. Harvest and mining locations. And you can do hex grid. But, uh... Yeah, where do we put this? Maybe here? Does it let you put a lodge that close? I don't even know where we would put it. There's no space. There's no space. We need to go adventuring, I guess. Looking for a good place for a lodge. As it stands, though, we're going to end the turn. Hello, beasts. Random event. Over time, you've received more and more reports of dancing lights. The letters are piling high on your desk. Who's sending me letters? How do they know where to send it? Please send this to the random tower that's popped up. 
Read the letters. Each letter describes a light, a light like a blue flame. A wisp, maybe? I'll investigate further. It's over there. It's kind of far. But I might try to adventure in that general direction to look for a lodge location. Because there's also this little adventure here. Griffin train or whatever that is. Some things to pick up up there. Uh, oh, actually, we need to come down here and make friends with these Alluvians so we can maybe get some worker units. That's what I need to concentrate on, I think. You guys healed up quite nicely. Let's run you towards the big glowing red Tower of Doom. First, though, what's going on in the mine? It's a fight. Decisive victory. I think we're going to lose one. And we might. We might lose the ghoul or something. But we'll give it a go. Might just keep the necromancer with my goblin stack. At least until I get... You can get... Skeletal mages. I think they're called risen mages. Those guys are awesome. Once we get a stronger undead stack, maybe we'll send the apprentice with them. Like, uh... The mounted skeleton guys and the risen mages and stuff. What the hell are you? Militia. Tier 1 expendable. Very basic melee unit. What I worry about is these guys that throw the fire at us. So, these guys have the rib cage thing, yeah. More armor against missile attacks. Which is pretty good. I assume you get it as well. Yes, you do. <laughs> so, the melee units. Oh, you can get all the way over to this guy. And you, you do have that consumed corpse. We need to remember that as well. I don't know if I want to take you off guard. By running up there though and attacking since you're already kind of low I'm gonna put you there so if someone decides to stand there we can pincer them a bit meanwhile arrows nope I need to get a bit closer ah we do get a little eye icon as you can see when we can see stuff okay that's handy what about if I go here or I get a partial shot Guess we'll stand here, because I didn't want to get shot at by this guy. We'll plink this fella a bit. <laughs> we'll come here and get a half shot on this guy. Try to get a soul cage? Nope. Does it tell me... Like, what's the chance of getting soul caged exactly? Resisted by death. But it doesn't tell me what the base chance is or anything. We're just going to end the turn putting our melee units in guard. And here they come. Nice and close. I don't know why the ranged fellas came so close. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage on our ghouls, though. A lot of damage. We need to get a kill here. Which we should be able to do. Yeah, these guys might get it alone. Oh, if we just rolled a bit better. Who's doing the most damage to this guy? 18 to 24 with a sight penalty. 15 to 24 with a sight penalty. Okay. Kill it with you so that these guys can consume the corpse, which I assume ends their turn, I think. Big heal. No, it doesn't end their turn. They could move there and go into guard, which would prevent these guys from using their ranged attack, I think. Oh no, I can't go into guard. That just ends my turn. Balls. I shouldn't have done that. That was bad. Is it worth... Am I always going to get a sight penalty because there's units in the way? Is it... It's because of this rock, it seems. Is it worth moving and getting two... Let's try and move here. Yes, a clean attack. And we soul caged them. Good. Can my ghouls survive? They should be fine because these guys can't... Oh, they died. So now these guys can attack. Damn it. We did lose one. At least it was only ghouls. Very, very basic units that we can easily replace. But they had a level on them, damn it. I bet... If I didn't make that mistake of moving them up, I thought I'd have an action point left. That's why it was blue. So we got bandages. 
a lesser pristine soul and got some one reputation with the Alluvian. We found some copper and once our domain expands which will happen I mean we're at nine in a couple of turns we could make it next turn if we make this six so next turn we should unlock a new domain thing level area words who's awaiting orders for me are oh, you guys uh, yeah, this... We don't have any other undead to put in that stack. I don't need undead to put in a stack. But I like to keep my stacks thematic, you know? I don't have a big soul yet. Last time I got some, like, larger souls. That feral soul. For pack tactics on it. It's not that useful, is it? With no one else having it. Pristine soul is nice because it doesn't have any life essence in it. So we can just get a goal, a ghoul from just that. What we can do is this to get some more archers. The army would be a little bit ranged heavy maybe though. I don't have enough elemental essence to get melee fellas I need arcane essence to get the risen mages which are awesome as I said hmm fine I'll pump some ghouls out I don't need to use that soul though we'll get a greedy soul uh, no. We want that on something that's going to survive. That'll do. We'll just put remains in. To cancel the life. And replace our ghouls. You guys, though. I don't have a shaman. I really like a shaman in this stack. Okay, that's kind of kind of a tough fight for those guys, maybe. But if one of them dies, we'll just replace him with a shaman. It's fine. I'm going to send you guys up towards this thing. Oh, an event. Oh, these guys have levels. You've recently heard so many tales claiming that fairies are appearing in mushroom circles at night. Each story varies in the description, blah, blah, blah. We'll have to investigate further. Just a random quest for just running. Okay. Let's level up these fellas. Phalanx. Each ally in, in one radius gains plus two armor. That's amazing. Or plus one melee damage. Let's do this. So we need to put a melee unit in here. Plus six damage if something is afflicted by fear. I don't know a way of, inf of, of inflicting fear. Even though I'm a necro. I don't know of a way to do it. So I'm just going to give him armor. Gonna try and make it over to there, fellas. We're gonna get a ghoul soon to join that army. I'm gonna end me turn. Oh, we're well over an hour here. What are you guys doing? You're not gonna come for my tower, are you? Yay, we got extra domain radius, which means we get all the gold from that mine. We're now a master mage. Got a new apprentice slot, and we can make more tower rooms. Oh, speaking of tower rooms, I should probably build some more. All of the circle mages do not like this. We found a thing. College of Primordial Knowledge. Oh, that's where we can get another apprentice from, I think. I think that's what that is. Yeah, I need to be building more tower rooms. I was not doing this, which is bad. This gives me another crafting slot. Why was I not doing this earlier? There we go. Big mistake there. But we've got it, we've got it running now. Let's have a look at this, shall we? A 238 battle. Stay away, we will end you. The leader shouts from one of the tower's windows. Let's do it. Whoa, what is this? Medusa Warriors, tier 3. Fantastic unit. So they can't gain... Oh, they have first strike. That's bad. Nimble. 
This unit won't attack, uh, won't trigger attacks of opportunity. That's amazing for them. And big damage too. And petrifying gaze deal 31 white damage and stun them. That's really bad. It doesn't seem like there's a, a chance to be stunned. It just happens. Thankfully, they can only do it once because it's, it's too focused, which is all they have. And some tier one hunter units. Oh, these guys can harvest, look. Plus six damage to beasts, which we don't have. Uh, let's have a go. It says we're going to lose that fella if we, do, if we do it auto. No guarantee I'll do any better, of course. Need to manage this stun that they're going to throw on us. This should be a full-on shot blocker, I would think. I'll put you behind this obstacle here. You up to here, which should give you the... Yep, gives you the aim assistance. And we'll start shooting at these Medusae. Stagger them. It might have been worth waiting, because we need to reload that guy now. So, got to pick your shots a bit more carefully, perhaps. Make sure they are full-on shots, kind of thing. can shoot you from here and since you're slow now let's do it you're gonna stun someone obviously which is gonna suck don't really want to run my melee fellas in shot at my shaman those guys got stunned just drains all their action points, basically. We need to reload. Which is painful. I can get in on these guys, but it does open up their back to the Medusa. Medusa? Medusa warriors, okay. I don't know if Medusa is a correct term, even. If you all shoot at this guy, yeah, he's gonna die. So I'm going to hide. And... Shrooms. Yes. We going? Oh, you got stunned. I wonder... Yes. I can't do a ranged attack here. Would like to get a kill this turn so that I could then raise them as the dead but it doesn't seem like that's going to be easy to do maybe if I shot with the shaman it would have been but he was in a bad spot might be able to kill those guys puts those fellas in a bad place let's have a go though they die they die no, I can't even kill them. I think it's worth doing. Probably gonna lose those guys, but I'd rather that than my than one of the other units. Where's my attack of opportunity? Oh, I wasn't in the right spot. Ouch, ouch. Ah, oh, they turned me around. Look at them clever bastards. And the Medusa are gonna kill me. Great. And those guys have now moved out of range. We are now reloaded though. So we can get a big flanking shot with our crossbowmen. Yes. We going? Can you kill? You can. Oh, it's got first they got first strike though, so we're not gonna do that. Ah, the eye changes colour when you're in optimal range. Good to know. Let's hope this is enough. It's not. It's not enough. I should have moved around to a flanking position. Damn it. Mistakes were made. Don't want to take a chunk here. What I might do, go to this location and guard. They'll just attack me, hopefully, which would have they would have got an attack anyway because of first strike. 
good. Okay. Ah, oh, but I can still be shot from there. At least I was on guard for it. Okay. I can make some walking corpses appear. Let's do that. You need to reload. I'm going to put you behind this weird altar thing. Another fantastic looking battle map, by the way. I like the visual stuff they have going on in this. We're going to do some mushrooms. Doesn't heal our apprentice because he's undead. But I can come and... Oh, I can't. I can't attack these guys, apparently. Yeah, that's going to leave me with no action points, I think. But... I should be able to get an attack of opportunity if they try to move or fire or something, I think. That's it. Shoot the corpses. Kill those guys. Good, good, good. Yes. Did you reload? You did. Big boom. I'm sure there was a way to do that without losing anything. Pretty certain there was, but we lost our little goblin fellas. Put some XP. Those guys were level 4 as well, I think. What is this? Ooh. Triple arcane essence on that. I like this. Lost more opinion with all the circle mages, I think. We got a... Oh, we got a, a spell page in our grimoire just for the tower now. I must study this further. You search through every room, blah, blah, blah. Scanning the text, you barely understand half of it because we're idiots. This method would have brought him far closer to mastering the all fires. These, these are your master's notes that were hidden here. We crumble this thing down. And... Uh, we get this spell to make our tower fly. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. It's nice and cheap, but it doesn't work. It just leads you, it like fails and and crashes to the ground and then it, it leads you to do other stuff to get it working. And I think when it crashes to the ground, it destroys some structures and stuff. So I'm not gonna do it yet. So I'm pretty sure it like, it like collapsed the hamlet or something or maybe Maybe I'm just imagining things. Note that stuff like this watchtower have a certain amount of turns that they give you these resources. It doesn't last forever. Same with the mine. So we will deplete this area after a while. You still get the bonuses from the hamlet and the camp. But the other things, they're going to be depleted. We'll need to try and move on. I need to try and fight these guys. I don't want them to attack my tower. Should be able to auto this, I think. Yes, heroic victory. We'll just auto it against these wolf fellas. Good stuff, guys. Didn't get any XP, the way. Need to replace the fella what we lost. Okay. Level you up. What do you got? Nothing spectacular. We'll give you some health, I suppose. I have no idea... Can the work, can the human work unit swim? Where's my undead stack? Oh, they're up here. 15 gold, baby. Who's this? The granite dwarves, they don't like me. They just attacked me outright last time. These guys are leveled up as well. Ah, these guys can do everything. Mine ore and harvest plants. I'd love to have those guys in my army. Should I attack them? No, let's not attack them. I want to make my undead stack, damn it. I might make an undead stack with the crossbowman, maybe. Can I... No, I still have lesser souls. So what do we want? Uh, maybe I can make a risen mage, though. With this thing. Yes, undead mage. Oh, I'm crafting a ghoul. I can't do it. But we can make our undead mage. So that's going to be awesome. And he's going to give us gold per turn. Or after battles, rather. 
Who's awaiting orders? You guys. Let's go and see what these fellas want. Oh, there's a little event here. And I've still got this one that I started as well. I should go and do that first, probably. Who's awaiting orders now? Are oh, you fellas? You can come and do this. We'll leave those wisps to wisp around over there. And you're going to try and do this bridge thing. Plus five mana per day. That's amazing for this week. Yeah, I'm going to turn you around. We've got a ghoul. But I don't know if we want the ghoul in this stack. I think I want to put a, an undead mage there. And then the apprentice, of course. So... We'll, we'll find a place for the ghoul. No, I want a crossbowman, don't I? What do we drop? We want the mate? We drop the archer, I guess. Keep this guy. Because he does death damage, which is fun. And he's got that soul catcher thing. We're making 12 mana now. We're getting 5. Yeah, so we can, we can pump out some, some minions and make, just make another undead stack to run around, I think. What else we got? We have another greedy soul. I like that. And... Oh, it's the same greedy soul, isn't it? Yeah, let's make the undead mage now. Don't get any benefit from adding these other things. Although, what happens if I... Ah, an unknown undead that I can't make. The soul is too weak. I'll take me undead mage. These guys are amazing. They have this AOE curse thing that they can do twice. It does damage and it weakens. It's fantastic. Uh, I don't want to start this in case it's a fight. I don't feel like I'm in a massive rush, so we'll wait for the undead mage to appear. We got this stack. So we'll do this one with our with these fellas to get XP on them. Can I bring any of yous in? No. We got 302 strength. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, just some more f some stuff to kill. You find the elven encampment where the druids are completing a ritual to wake more treants from their slumber. No more monsters. Battle enchantments. What? Oh, active influence on the battlefield. So this is bane of the unnatural. That's bad because I am not mortal. But it's only one fellow that we're fighting. Some elven rangers here. So we can auto-resolve it without losses. Good, good, good. More level on my crossbowman. Get any elves' lives through monsters. Before new monsters can arise, you bring proof of your fight to the village and the people hand over their prized glyph. Does this not give me alluvian... Oh, look at this thing. Plus five death damage. This unit's melee and... Wow, we need to put that on someone, I think. That's fantastic. Let's level you up. Or we can make it so you can harvest stuff. We're, we'll give you plus one missile damage. I was very tempted to take that harvest though. We can give you that glyph we just got. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that. That's superb. And uh, yeah, you're just hanging out here now. Who's away to... Oh, this little guy. Just uh, run up here, we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do with all these units. But I'm not going to figure that out now, because we are well over the time for an episode that people are going to bother to watch. So here is, or here was, Spellforce, Conquest of Eo. I think it's, uh, I think it could be something special. I'm enjoying my time so far with it. I wonder how replayable it's going to be. With only like three main archetypes, you can mix and match, but you only you have three like crafting styles of necromancy, artificer, and alchemists. Hopefully, that's enough. That's enough variety, and hopefully, they add more stuff because I'm I'm really liking what I'm playing so far. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to check out that link in the description if you'd like to pick up the game yourself. Appreciate that, and I appreciate you guys for hanging out. I'll see you next time.